What's up? If you're broke like me, you probably have a shower that works something like this, right? You turn the water on, you lift that thing up, and abracadabra, the water comes out the top. Me too. Now, I'm sure most of you just get in the shower in the morning and shower. You're done. You don't care. Me, my brain never stops asking questions. So I want to know how does this stay up the entire time you're taking a shower and force the water to come up there? So today I built a PVC demonstration that I'm going to show you all and I'm going to explain how I figured out how that thing works. And I did some research online trying to figure out how it works. Uh, my first issue was figuring out what the thing was called because it's called a shower diverter. And I looked up a lot of diagrams explaining how it works and they were all very complicated. So I wanted to try and make a very simple answer that an idiot like me could understand. I know how to screen record, I just don't feel like doing all that. This is a very low budget production, right? So you do a simple Google search. How does a shower diverter work? It'll give you answers, but they never make any sense. Like this is just straight up telling you, hey, when you lift the thing up, the water goes to the shower. And I already know that. So I look up shower diverter diagrams. And this was one of the most helpful ones that I ever saw. This whole thing makes sense. But my not like the the pull tab for me is on the top and it always has been so I don't understand how it lines up and so I ended up going on paper and pen and drawing up my own designs similar to what this one looks like but just trying to figure out how I could make that work having a vertical pin and so that's what this is though I am poor I was able to make a nice setup here to try and help demonstrate what's going on we got a little bit of a leak because I had to test it out. Now, there's a pretty simple setup. This piece would be behind the wall. This is like your main water line. Up here would be your shower. It would usually come this way, but I'm not trying to get soaking wet. And down here, this is gonna be that magnificent little pole tab, and this is gonna be representing the shower diverter. This is gonna represent you turning the water on for the shower, right? And what does it do? It starts pouring out of the bathtub. And so you come over and you raise this piece and then it comes out the shower and whoop de doo right? Magnificent. Let's turn this off though. So when you turn off the water, I just turned off the water. You just had the shower on, right? This whole pipe here is going to be full of water still. And that's why the bathtub just slowly drips. Sometimes it does automatically shut off in some of the ones that I've seen, but I'm poor, poor. So mine just, it sits like this. And then as soon as you press the nozzle down, the water is gonna shoot out because you've got all this built up pressure and it's trying to go somewhere. And as soon as you do this, you give it somewhere to come out. So I wanted to try and show a little bit better what's going on inside of the piece here. See if I can hold both the camera and my phone. There we go, that's good. With this tab here, when I push down, you can see that little black piece inside. It moves up and down with it. And so that hole that you see inside of there, right there, that's where all the water is coming. So when the valve is down, it lets the water come into this point and then come up and out. But whenever you lift this black tab up, it seals the pipe from getting to the bathtub nozzle. And so it creates a closed off area down here. And that's what forces the water to come all the way back up and out the top to your shower. And that's also why whenever you drop it, it releases all the water that's stored up inside of this pipe to shoot out of here from there. I hope this video was helpful because before this, as far as I know, there was not a very simple explanation of how this thing works. Then again, not too many people care or even question how it works. So hopefully this was useful to somebody. And if you have any other questions about other plumbing or electrical, I don't even know. I'm not a professional, but if you have questions, drop them in the comments and I'll try and build a better demonstration than I can find online. Adios.